Do not attempt anything discussed in these videos. These videos are strictly to teach harm reduction in a fun way. I do not condone the use of any legal or illegal substances. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be telling you about the time I absolutely lost my mind while on magic mushrooms. So on this particular night, I was with two of my friends. We're going to call them Alex and Jake. Um, me and Alex were planning on taking mushrooms and J Jake was supposed to be our trip sitter. Well, we were trying to take a bigger dose this night. We picked up some penis envies from the plug and he told us to be careful with them, but I didn't think anything of it because every dealer says that about their product. So I got back home with Alex and Jake and me and Alex proceed to dose. Alex takes a do takes a takes one eighth, 3.5 grams, and I take 4.2 grams of these penis envy magic mushrooms. And after we dosed him, we were chilling in my room for a little bit, and we decided to go walk around the block while we were waiting f for the mushrooms to kick in. So we go take a walk, all of us. I think we had like a blunt on us or something. We're smoking, and we're about 20 minutes goes by after we dose, and I start to feel them within 20 minutes. And I knew I was about to be in for a ride, but I didn't, I had no clue what was coming. So after we started feeling it kicking in and getting more intense by the minute, we decided to go back to my house into my room where we were safe. Okay, so after we got, shortly after we got back to my room is whenever they really started kicking in. We were watching a Flatbush Zombie music video and it was insane. I remember looking at all the colors and it was just so vibrant. And, and then I, I had a memory foam little thing on my bed and it was blue and white like wavy colors and like it started turning into like water it was insane but shortly after that is where when things went south i remember it got really intense really fast and then i felt like i was dying the last thing that like before i went crazy i grabbed my friend alex's shoulder and i was like bro i think i'm dying right now i don't know what to do i think i'm dying and that's whenever i like a flip switched in my brain. I was gone. Like, I don't know what happened. I forgot who I was. I forgot who I, everyone in the house was. I forgot where I was. Like, I forgot who I was as a person. It was crazy. I remember the only thing I was seeing was like a movie reel in my head. And I was like rewatching my life over like as a movie. And I started seeing all the bad stuff I was doing. Like, like legal stuff and just shit I shouldn't be doing. I was, I was reckless at the time. And after seeing that, I thought the police were going to come get me. I started convincing myself the police were going to come. And I really started freaking out. And then I started pacing around the house. Only thing I would say is what's happening. And that's what my, that's what everyone told me. That's the only thing I would say the entire night. And I was freaking out. And eventually, I don't know why, I took all my clothes off, just down to my boxers. I was in my boxers, pacing around, just losing my fucking mind. It was crazy. And I I remember some of it, like some of it, like while like while I was like pacing around my apartment, like I kept going into different rooms, like I was freaking the hell out. And I remember like I sat down on my couch and like I, I looked to my right and I had multiple limbs like I had two arms on each side and I looked down and I had like four legs. It was literally one of the most intense drug experiences I have ever been through in my life. I honestly think I'm a little bit traumatized from this, but I don't know. It was insane. I remember looking at people's faces and their faces were forming and I would see like a third eye on people's head. And, like, I remember seeing, like, Egyptian hieroglyphs, like, going in a circle around the border of my TV. Like, the black part where there wasn't a screen. It was so fucking crazy. And I, my mom ended up having to give me, like, two milligrams of Ativan to kill the trip. Which, Ativan is, like, a baby benzodiazepine, like, like Xanax, but a lot weaker. And it, it actually worked. It really calmed me down. And the trip, I started killing my trip and I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I was like sleeping in like my mom's arm on the couch and my friends and my mom were talking and just, 
it was a really emotional night, and it was also a really beautiful experience at the same time. The next day, like, I had so much appreciation for my mom and my house and food and all the people in my life that love me. It was really an, enlight an enlightening experience. Don't play with mushrooms, because if you try to fuck with them, they will kick your ass. Always have respect for this substance. Yeah, I will never forget this night, and I don't know if I could ever dose that big again, because I, I really believe that I have some trauma from this trip. It seriously, like, I, I can remember shit from it so clearly. It was the craziest night of my life. I mean, my, everyone started talking about emotional stuff. My friend was talking to my mom about how they're all worried about me and stuff. It was, it was good overall. I mean, as you can imagine, my mom was pretty mad at me. But I think we connected on a different level at the end of that trip. Like, it, it was beautiful, terrible. I just, I don't know how to explain it. It was a beautiful disaster. Well, that was the that was the story, you guys. That's the time I lost my mind on m magic mushrooms. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you really if you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll keep posting videos like this. All right, y'all have a good day. Stay safe out there. Don't get into trouble. Bye.